Hello guys, today I'm doing a YouTube tutorial on how to make distorted text, distorted topography. Uh, this method I like used a lot in my projects. I really like the effect it gives and uh, how it turns out at the end. So yeah, I'm going to show you today how to do it. First of all, what I want to do is grab the rectangle tool, press shift, click and drag to draw a rectangle. And then you need to separate this rectangle in few other shapes so it will help you make your text like that first of all you can use other methods too but this is my method this is how i do it so you don't have to do it like this but you can and then uh, for this method you need the pen tool and then you try to make interesting shape with it so you can follow me you can you can draw any shapes you want that you want to your text to be in like circular you know anything you want but i want it like this so you first what you need to do is pick the uh, take the pen tool and then click and then you go some something like here press and then click and drag and something like this and you can go around this like this and it's like this second thing you need to do is you can draw another one and then you need just similar to this one you know you can go like like this maybe and now like this you know and then you can go like this and then the last one you can do like this and this is like this and then this this and this okay so i know this this is kind of messy right now but we're gonna fix it right now so you select everything you press shift plus m to pick the shape builder tool and then you click alt key and then you delete these parts you don't need like this one this one this one this one this one this one and then you leave this like leave it like this you can also delete this one if you don't like it you know you can oh no, no, no. you can you need then you stop pressing alt and then you do it like this to make it one shape you know this is now like one shape and then you do this for the second one for the third one and the for the fourth one and you have now four different shapes you know four different shapes that you will put your text in first of all you want to do is pick your text you know go something like this and then you can go up here like text tutorial and then you pick the t uh, selection tool clicking here or pressing V and then you need to give it like 100 it depends which format you're using but 100 here 100 enter and then you pick the font you want let's find something interesting here uh, this one is interesting and then you use this one press right click arrange send to back now you select this one and, and this one this shape and then you go to object envelop the store and make with top object and you got this effect and now you can play around what you want and what you need but you need to figure out in which situation are you and what what project are you doing like poster or something you want to do or for a logo or something but i think you can make a uh, perfect shapes using this one to to make your typography look more interesting and visual appealing now we will take type tool again and type here how to do it and then you stretch this so you can fit in and then you again again same process first of all you have to say i forgot to send you have to send this to back select this one object envelop the store make with top object see this is what you get and then for the this one you can you can go and like type it's amazing and then same process with this one you select this one you know you have to send it back 
me select this one and then object and we have the store make with top object and this one and for the last one you also go like this and uh, you go uh, impress and then you this select this one and this one and object and we have the store make with top object okay so we, we didn't send it back i think did we i didn't th i didn't think so and then this and this okay here we go and then look what we have at the end so uh let me guys find some interesting colors and uh, let's see how it looks at the end i found some interesting colors so we're gonna apply it to the to the artwork uh we're gonna use rectangle tool again and then click and drag send it to back again take this one and this one press i and use this color object lock selection to color this you have to expand the, the, the artwork we did so you so, uh, click and drag to select everything and you go expand give it a okay fill an object and then you have this boom and for this one you have you select again everything press i on the keyboard and find the color you like press it here and then this is what you get i think it looks good you can use this in a lot of examples you can use it to make interesting posters and i really like it i like i really like this method and i i think you can make a lot of it so yeah guys thank you guys for watching